that skin, adult acne. Being not 16 and having skin like you are, but also with wrinkles, it's a super fun situation. So I'm here with one of my darling friends, Miss Grace Ann Svensson. Grace, Grace Ann, tell them who you is. Tell them all that you know. So I'm a celebrity facialist here in Midtown Manhattan at Schaefer Plastic Surgery, mm -hmm. and I've been doing this for 15 years. Yeah. I've got over 30 certifications, including a health coaching certification. Oh, yeah. So my point of view is beauty on the inside and out. Right. And I also add in a lot of holistic healing, yes. such as crystals and sound healing mm -hmm. and all sorts of fun Tibetan singing bowls, the whole nine, I massage, know. aromatherapy. But she also is like lasers. <laughs> like Laser technology. Geek, number yes. one. Yes. Laser geek. Totally. And I feel like so few medical practitioners are doing stuff like this. They either want to prescribe you like oxy and lasers, or it's like, let me pray over you and dangle a thread. You're like, no, do something to my face, make it hurt. So today I want to get Grace Ann's opinion on my skin because I feel like I feel like every single pore on my face is clogged. And by the way, this is me without makeup and I am hating it no being filter. on the no filter, no nothing. I feel like my skin looks really orange and in real life it's really red all the time. It's really ruddy and I put sheet masks on it. Like that does anything. What am I doing? I don't want to talk about it. I don't stop. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> it's I'm doing. Too much. It's too much. And then Grace Ann's gonna do a chemical peel on me. And I love chemical peels. If you guys read my second book, X's and O's, I literally have a chapter called My Chemical Peel Romance because I <laughs> love them and I love that some people are like, oh, I don't wanna peel. Girl, that's what it is. And I wanna just, I wanna feel like the layers of my sins coming off my skin to rebirth me into a hot person. So after she does it, I'm gonna keep you guys updated day to day. I'm gonna do a little update throughout this video so you can see what it's like and why it isn't you know, a goblin state that you have to live in, unless you want to, because tell me, just tell me about chemical peels, because you were telling me earlier that they're completely customizable. That's what I love about mm -hmm. them, and I'm with you. You know, mm -hmm. let's get, let's snake this off, let's start fresh. There's something yes. very satisfying it, it, there is. about peels in particular. Yes. The trick with them is the same trick with skincare, and I feel like making under is a big thing right mm -hmm. now, right? Because, you know, I've got this new facial, Naturalista mm -hmm. facial. Oh! Yes, yes. Okay, so the big thing is making under, mm -hmm. and I think with chemical peels, the number one trick is pick the right one for you, pick the right one for your skincare goals, right. and then pick it within the spectrum of what you can handle downtime and budget-wise. That's true. That's very important. So right. that's a part of the conversation that I always have with any patient, is where are you at with downtime? How can we strategically schedule it mm -hmm. so that when you are peeling, which typically takes 36 to 48 hours, it's not stressful. Right. And then the number one caveat is that you never peel, pick, or pull. Never pull it off. Skin. Never That's pull it off. The actual trick. Yeah, you can't do that. Like because then you're gonna expose that like really raw skin, and you also cannot be out in the sun. Like you can't get overheated. Yeah. You can't try to put makeup on. Like this really needs to be like your sort of beauty rehab. And it's literally yeah, like 36 to 48 hours. Like stay home, girl. Relax. Binge watch that Murder She Wrote season. Yeah. That's what I do. I'm yeah, yeah. so lame. So. My concern with my skin is, like I said, the breakouts. I'm having hormonal breakouts over here. I feel like a monster right now. I can't believe I'm doing this Aww, on the internet, but I, no I am, I am a monster. And I've told you guys before that like my skin is my weak point and like, if I ever face tune anything, it's for my skin. I'm not like shrinking the waist and doing the butt. It's, I'm trying to smooth my skin out because I have melasma, which is basically like a sun allergy. Like, no, 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 no. Is melasma it? is a thing. You Melasma's know, melasma is a, is a very emotional thing, just like it's acne mm -hmm. is. So, you know, and I can come back and we can go into sort of beauty rehab in mm -hmm. terms of product and makeup and chemical screens. We can talk, you know, yeah. all day about that. Yeah, but we melasma, did do a video on that. Yeah. We talked all about, I'm going to link it right here. So take a look at that. It's Perfect. it's basically like beauty 101. If you're like kind of new to the skincare thing, or even if you're not and you're just like, I have too much information about what I should be doing watch that video to kind of start fresh but keep talking. so my you know what I'm seeing now with everybody these days is less is more mm -hmm. and so when it comes to melasma understanding that you didn't do anything wrong nothing happened that was your fault <laughs> oftentimes it's li literally birth control pills I'm not on the pill okay it's spikes of 
estrogen mm-hmm. that your liver is having a hard time processing. Mm-hmm. So not to mm-hmm. go too far into the granola side, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, melasma is hormonal. Mm-hmm. It's usually pregnancy mask or birth control related or it's stimulated mm-hmm. by um, too much hormone one way or the other, spiking right. up or down, coming off or going on, getting pregnant or you know recovering from such. Right. So the Here's fact that you me. don't really fall into mm-hmm. any of those categories. Knock on wood. I haven't taken a pregnancy good. test today. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> um, it could mean mm-hmm. that. Um, but, and the bad news. Let me give you the bad news. It's 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 not it's quite forever. ever going to go away. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. It's not a sun allergy, and it's nothing that is made worse by anything that you can do mm-hmm. except. You've got to protect it with mineral sunblock and stay out of hot yoga or any... Okay, good. Fuck that. Good. Yeah. So let's talk about, because probably the girls don't have melasma as much as they have adult acne. So what can you do? What's the face wash? How long do you wash your face? Should you use proactive? Should you use retinol? Should you use those little pore strips that you pull things off of? Are you ready? God, I do all. Back it up, girls, back it up. <laughs> Pump the brakes, put the thing in reverse. Do you know how many makeup, oh, I have this beautiful patient who was just here the other day. Bless her heart, she has clogged pores, blackheads, oh, no. cystic acne, the whole nine. She's gorgeous actress, beautiful. I pulled her off of 80% of her products. Whoa. I could not believe how many steps she has. And a patient sent me, I, I mean, who doesn't love Liv Tyler? Oh my but God! Liv Tyler's I'm just bring this $1,700 worth of a product. 25 steps. 25 steps and never clarified, Liv, are you doing all that in the morning or at night? Because I want to know. So definitely right. contact us. But please pull back. You're over stripping your skin right. when you're wash and cleanse twice a day. So d- please don't cleanse in the morning. Okay. Let no your face skin... washing in the morning. If you no. didn't sleep, don't sleep with your makeup, which is, I know, I'm so, I can be guilty of this. And you know who's making it worse? Kim Kardashian. She says she sleeps in her makeup all the time, but she's got that thicker Persian skin. Do you know what I mean? I've got like this thin white tuna sandwich left out in the rain skin. <laughs> So I can't be doing that. Her skin's like bulletproof. Mine is not. No sleeping with your makeup. So assuming you don't sleep with your makeup on, don't wash your face in the morning. Like you Please can... don't. Right. And please limit our steps to, you know, I'd say two or three key steps, one in the, you know, in the morning and mm-hmm. at night. The idea is that the, your skin has a microbiome of its mm-hmm. own. Mm-hmm. It has a bacterial layer of like its own. Like your vagina. Like your Stop vagina. Stop overwashing your vages too. Just leave her That's alone. That's another thing. Leave her alone. She has her perfect amount of pH in there. No douches. Oh, and no, just like leave her. Rubbing. And if a guy oh, doesn't like fabulous. how it smells or tastes, he's maybe a homosexual. Out. Out. Have you ever gotten complaints? Because I haven't. No. All right. I get I've the opposite. A it's a like, ooh, I like it. She's fabulous. You know. <laughs> you know. And just if he doesn't like it, it's like, what do you think a penis smells and tastes like? A box of kittens? No. Get out. <laughs> if you don't like it, explore your other options. Get a dick in your mouth. I don't want to hear about it. By the way, I'm just like sitting here playing with a breast implant, ooh, ooh. and it, I'm, I'm just like, yes. It's giving me so it's much. It's very distracting. I know. Because <laughs> we're talking about breasts, and vaginas. Like I just can. Dicks. This oh is... my god. <laughs> They're everywhere. Look, rosacea, rosacea. No. She's getting shy. So okay. what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Overwash so your face less with the is biome. more. Please, mm-hmm. please, please. And please limit our steps to two to three in the morning, two to three at night. We only have to exfoliate about twice a week. Okay. okay. And what do we use to exfoliate? Like, because I know the St. Ives scrub is popular, but I've always heard if you use the natural pieces, like the walnut husk, it can, like, give the micro tears and lead to dullness. So. You said it already. I don't okay. Know what to say. <laughs> okay. So... Done. I mean, even if you spend a little extra, how about you spend a little bit extra mm-hmm. on said scrub mm-hmm. because you only need a half a teaspoon mm-hmm. in your hand gently, right? Mm-hmm. And you're letting the scrub do the work. Mm-hmm. And maybe you just use a white washcloth with your yeah. cleanser anyway if you don't want to purchase a scrub. Yeah, that's what I do. I exfoliate with a washcloth because I'm cheap and I don't, I literally don't know which kind of scrub to buy. I go and I'm like, I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to use ones with the little microplastics that are going to go into the ocean. No. So I just use 
A washcloth, like our grandparents yeah, do it. Did. And do they, it. Yeah. Okay. All right. And washcloth. then grandparents also use sometimes a cream cleanser. Yes. So we're keeping again, we're keeping that moisture barrier safe, mm -hmm. and we're gently working out the dead skin, mm -hmm. and then we're applying a nice serum. If you can do a serum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, facial oil mm -hmm. can be done as long as it's a nice, clean facial oil. So please stay away from the micellar waters and please avoid silicone and please avoid any, any, any type of glycerin based or silicone based, please. Okay, can so we tell me why something? the micellar water is bad. And that that's makeup wipes too, it uses micellar water, right? What? No. Tell me about my silicone. Because water. you shouldn't need all that. You okay. just, you know, there's something about, I mean, why don't you splurge? And I'm going to be spoiling myself by mm -hmm. washing with filtered water. Oh. But that's a whole other video. Okay. But anyway, please just don't. Because there's too much oil in there or non comedogenic thickeners that are additives that are just not necessary. We did so fine for years without it. Let's just avoid it. If anything, a Tolarian or like a thermal spring water by La Roche Posay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, that mm -hmm. company came from La Roche Posay, France, which is mm -hmm. actually a city. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a hospital for skin. And you oh, go and you sit in the waters and insurance covers it. The oh, French my. know what's up. God, take me away from this so country. They do rosacea, they do eczema, and they do psoriasis baths where you full body you go in the baths. So the idea being is that you want to simplify and mm -hmm. you don't need all of these, you know, newfangled things. Mm -hmm. So let's limit the steps. Let's pick one or two key things mm -hmm. and let's avoid a lot of silicone. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that tends to clog silicone. the pores. So, so in what we, we need to know if we're silicone, silicone sensitive. So anything that literally is says dimethicone, any dimethicone. kind of O N E in your ingredients. O N E is N O silicone. Okay, let's peel it up. Let's do it. So is this the peel? Yeah. Yeah, so it's just, she's just wiping it on with the proper gauze. It smells kind of like berries a little bit. Really? Yeah, I think it smells a little berryish. Sort of like health food store berries. Like if you go to a really like gnarly like health food store with crystals and stuff and they make like a very healthy acai bowl. It sort of smells like <laughs> not a Jamba Juice bowl. Did I tell you I'm adding crystal healing? No. Oh my gosh. I'm crazy. I'm walking around with five pounds worth of crystals right now. <laughs> Y'all gotta check out Energy Muse. Energy Muse? Yeah. Is that on Insta? Yes. Okay. And YouTube. Okay. Amaze. Alright, so I'm gonna do this first layer only on her face so that she gets the best result possible. Mm -hmm. And then we'll use what's left to do neck and decolletage. Mm -hmm. And if you've looked at my Insta for today, mm -hmm. I did a big microneedling aqua gold with Botox Ooh. on my decolletage because I wake up with this crack. Do you sleep on your side? Yes. Yes, I do too. Yeah. And I get that too. And like it goes away through the course of the day, but people have given me this spook story that like chest wrinkles are the only wrinkles you'll never be able to get rid of. Is that true? So true. Oh my god. But you don't have any. Oh my god, it's awful. Look, I have a bib. No, she doesn't. There's a bib. I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed with my decolletage. Mm -hmm. If I had one bit of wisdom, you know, for gals mm -hmm. younger than me, it would be wear sunscreen more consistently, at least on your decolletage. Because right. I used to think it was hot and sexy to get her all like sunburned. Yeah. No. Because the skin on your neck is as thin as the skin under your eyes. You know, and we understand that like we need eye cream and there's fine wrinkles and blah, 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 and don't rub and tug. Your neck is the same and your chest area is not much thicker than that. So we really have to treat it like it's an extension of our face because what happens, I've always heard guys say like, you can always tell how old, like, you know, those real housewives are because their faces look fine, but their chest is like black with sun damage and, and wrinkly and stuff. So people notice, not like we're only doing this for guys, but like, you know, it's people, if dudes notice things, but yeah, the only thing is like, I look more tan now. I look kind of like I'm got self tanner on my face, but I could easily go out and interact with the world and not look like 
a freak show. I just I look a little it. like I'm from Jersey. She's working at bronzing. She's bronzing. I'm bronzing. I'm bronzing. Okay. And can I put any makeup over this? Actually, Actually technically you mm-hmm. could, mm-hmm. but remember you're not really supposed to wash it off tonight because it's self-neutralizing. Okay, so, so no makeup. Because then it would mean we're sleeping in our makeup. No. Okay. All right, guys, I'll check back with you tonight. So it's Friday morning and the peeling is like for real. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. And my skin looks super splotchy on this video, but I swear to you in real life, it's like there's a pinkness and a freshness coming through, like this piggy pink fresh skin. (laughs) And like my pores are so much smaller. And even like where I have blackheads, like right on my nose, it's like the peel is lifting it out because I'm like, oh, I can like pick at something. And I, I tried and like the skin just came off and it was, it was, it was like an imposter pore. So it's like the peel is lifting things directly out of the pores and it's like just shedding completely off, which is wild. So I love it. I think this is going to be the worst of it. And by tonight, oh God, ew. Oh, I think by tonight I might look semi-normal. Might. The peel is done. Okay. Check me out. Like my skin is so much more even. I know it probably doesn't look like it. Just, I, you know how like you look in the mirror and you're like, I look great. You open your front cam and you're like, I belong on another planet. That's how I feel right now. But my skin literally, oh, there's like lashes. Oh, why is it down there like that? I have to pull it out. Okay. My skin really, before it was really like red toned and now I feel it's peach toned again. Again, like it's, it probably doesn't look like it in the camera, but it does. So I'm gonna put on makeup and you guys can see the final result with makeup and tell me what you think. Okay guys, here's the final face. I've got some makeup on and it's like post chem peel, my skin is so different. I'm not even wearing heavy makeup by the way. I'm wearing like just my light sort of running around foundation, not like on camera foundation. Look, not a pore, not a pore. Little break out there, not a pore. And usually I get this kind of like orange peel skin. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, you almost feel like you're spackling on makeup and it's not really like binding to your skin or something. That is due in part to when your skin is dry. And so a chemical peel really helps to like slough off that outer layer so that when you do put moisturizer and serums on, it really penetrates down. And so it kind of does double duty. Like it takes off the dullness and then it allows you to really combat the issues that your skin is facing, whether it's breakouts, whether it's dryness, oil production, all of that stuff. So I'm like super happy with this. It was worth (laughs) three days of molting and shedding like a snake. And I think if you guys are going to do anything for your skin, the most bang for buck really is going to be a chem peel. If you don't want to go the lasers or that kind of route, go chem peel. I hope you guys have liked this. I'm going to be doing a bunch more beauty videos, excuse me, but tell me in the comment section what other kind of beauty stuff you want to see. I've got a video on Botox and fillers coming up and of course some questions and answers with a renowned plastic surgeon. But in the meantime, click like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at ShallonXO and be sure to listen to my podcast, Girl on Top, out every Wednesday.